Hey kids, if you made it to this video, you probably realize that the theater grid system can be frustrating at best. I've completed most of the lessons and honestly, I'm still only about 75% on whether or not my object is going to place where I want it to. Because of that, I drew up this little practice simulator for different objects to show the relation between a size of the object and where it goes on the grid. This can best be seen in the pink circles. The smaller draw ellipse is at coordinate 50-50 and a size of 25. To get the same center with a circle twice as big, we have to use draw ellipse, this time at position 38-38 and a size 50-50. Half of 25 is 12, subtract that from 50 and you get the 38. Also note that the line starts at 62 on the X. That means with objects, you're usually working with the center in images, it tends to be the top left. Another thing to note, if an object goes off the theater, it will not print. The key to making a successful theater scene is understanding where your objects are going to be at. At the end of the day, you are only really drawing shapes, importing some sounds and images. The rest is exactly what we've been doing. And the theater is just the same as the Painter Plus exercises we did in Unit 1 except now we're creating the painter. I have a link in the description to this project. Feel free to remix it or create your own to experiment with. But I think after playing around with the objects at different coordinates, the theater grid system will make a lot more sense. Hopefully this video helped you make better sense of the theater grid system. As always kids, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. See you later kids, bye, bye.